Hey guys, Sebastian here from GreenMusicProductions.com. Now, today is the first quick tip video of a series of quick tips video I'm gonna make. These are shorter videos to focus on one quick tip in Cubase 8.5 or less. So I hope you'll enjoy those. I also want to tell you that I have a new mailing list. It's free and it's super easy to subscribe. Just click on the link in the description. I'm not gonna spam you guys. This is just to notify you when I upload new videos. And I'm also gonna make some exclusive videos for my subscriber of the mailing list so um, yeah if you don't want to miss out just click on the link in the description and subscribe so today I want to talk about fades and crossfades now I worked in a professional studio and even with professionals sometimes you receive sessions that are really messy uh, with no fades and clicks and pops so as an engineer you have to be really efficient at um, cleaning those sessions um, so the main way that people uh, do fade in and fade out usually is by grabbing the little triangles at the top left or top right of the events. But that's not really fast if you have to do it on a lot of events like this. Um, the first uh, way that I'm going to show you is actually the easiest and the fastest. Uh, it's the auto fade settings uh, feature in Cubase. So if you select the track and click on the main tab right here and go under the auto fade settings, uh, the auto fade box will appear. And uh, there you can select if you want auto fade in, auto fade out, or auto cross fades, or all the three of them. And you can also select the length of the cross fade or fades and the curve. So it's really easy and straightforward. Uh, I rarely use that feature because it uses some CPU and I like to be in control and see uh, what's going on and see the length of the phase and all. But um, this is really fast and easy to use. Now the main way that I uh, use to make fast fade in and fade out is by selecting the range selection tool either by clicking on it or pressing the 2 key. And by using the keyboard shortcut for fade in and fade out which is A. So if you select the beginning or the end of an event and press A, it's going to apply the according uh, fade in or fade out. So it's really easy and really fast and you're always in control and you can see everything that's going on. You can also do that on like this. If I press A, it's going to apply to both events. So it's really nice. Uh, and you can always delete some part the same way if you select the end of a, uh, an event and you press delete it's just going to delete the selection so that's really fast if you get used to it uh, same thing applied to crossfades but it's the x key instead of the a key uh, let's say i select those two events here if i press x it's going to tell me that the gap between them is too big but let's say i make this event longer so they overlap and now with the range selection tool if i try to crossfade it's going to create a crossfade with the length of my selection. Uh, this is also possible with uh, the regular object selection. Um, so let's say I make them overlap again. You just have to select both of the files and press X. It's going to create a crossfade. That's the way I use it usually when I uh, apply it to a whole track. Let's say this is a vocal track and there's a lot of overlapping events and there's a lot of clicks. So I just want to apply small crossfades to make sure there's no clicks. I just select everything on the track. You can either select everything with your mouse or assign a keyboard shortcut uh, to uh, select all on track. So that's done by going under the file option, key commands, and under the edit folder, you have a select all on track option where you can assign your own keyboard shortcut. So if you do that, and then you press X, it's going to create a crossfade between all of the overlapping events. So now I have crossfades everywhere where the events were overlapping. If you don't like the length of the crossfade, while they're still selected, you can click on this open quantize panel here and change the length here. So as you can see, as I change the value, the crossfades are getting smaller or bigger. So this is really easy and really useful. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments section. As always, if you like that video, please like and subscribe. Thank you guys and see you in the next video. Bye.